In this video, you're gonna learn how to find low competition keywords. So whether your site is brand new or just doesn't have a lot of authority, finding low competition keywords is super important for having a chance to rank in Google. Because the fact is most keywords in Google are getting more and more competitive. So it's important to find those hidden gems that you actually have a chance to rank for. The problem is finding those hidden gems. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find low competition keywords in your niche in a few minutes. So without further ado, let's get into the exact steps. So your first step is to head over to the keyword magic tool and enter a seed keyword into the tool that's related to your niche. So the good thing about this tool is that it will cover every keyword under the sun related to the keyword that you typed in. In this case, if you type in content marketing, there are 33,659 keywords. So every keyword that's related to content marketing is on this list already. That's the good news. The bad news is how do you find keywords that are relevant and also low competition? I'm going to show you a few ways to do it in this video. The first of which, in my opinion, opinion is one of the easiest is instead of clicking all go to questions the reason for that is that questions in general not always are lower competition than non-questions so especially some more niche questions that maybe not like the highest volume keyword but also is relevant to your business so in the case of how content marketing drives sales this is a great piece of content if you run an agency um, a client might be searching for because they might say okay i kind of want to get into content marketing but I, I don't really understand how content actually leads to people buying stuff and that's where in your piece you could cover exactly that or what does a content marketer do so this is where you could cover the job function of a content marketer, places they work, what they tend to do, why content marketing matters. This could be why it's important. So again, some questions will be competitive, especially when it comes to like, what is the thing or, you know, some basic questions around a topic, but some of these niche questions usually aren't that competitive and they have a decent search volume and sometimes commercial intent. This is kind of my first protocol. If I am looking for low competition keywords is look up a topic and then find questions, 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 questions are usually going to be where a lot of those hidden gems are because they're low competition and they're they're relatively high intent in terms of someone maybe looking to buy something what is the best thing to do here or whatever now you want to go back to all or you can keep questions on it's up to you the most straightforward way to find low competition keywords in this list is to sort by keyword difficulty and start at zero the problem with this is that a lot of these keywords are zero competition for a reason because they're not really that valuable or they're just weird and that's actually why I like starting with questions because this can help you find keywords that people are actually searching for you know, have a lot of potential for creating content around as opposed to content marketing is like a first date like what is that right you know that's the type of keyword that yeah it's low competition but do you really want to target it so that's one way to do it and just go through the list you'll probably find some gems in here that you can go after but it'll take quite a bit of digging the last way to do it and the way i kind of recommend actually is go to keyword difficulty and just go to easy um because very easy like you've seen will include a lot of you know, keywords that aren't really that valuable. But if you go to easy, in my opinion, it sort of has the best of both worlds. Like there's some competition which shows people are creating content around it, but it's not super competitive either. It's that balance and keyword difficulty 15 versus you know, five is more or less the same. It's pretty much very little competition. So for example, like B2B content marketing agencies, that's a great keyword. That's a great keyword. It's super targeted. If you run a B2B content marketing agency or, or in that world at all, that's a great keyword. That's super high intent keyword and it's very low competition. Or B2B content marketing audit. This is another great niche keyword where you can go over some of the differences that you might encounter when doing a content audit for a B2C huge news website versus a B2B website or content marketing for manufacturers a little bit niche obviously but if you're in the content marketing space then this could be something that you know manufacturers are searching for and you can get in front of them with relatively low competition so you just learned how to find low competition keywords so hopefully you found a handful of keywords that you can go create content and pages about right now and i'll see you in the next video